Hi everyone, I am Dr. Soumya Tiwari Gautam, a medical practitioner from Cape Town, South Africa. I'm the brand ambassador for the Heart and Stroke Foundation, SA. First of all, I would like to say thank you to Independent Media for having me on your amazing webinar talk show for celebrating the World Hypertension Day, which we're celebrating in the month of October. World Hypertension League is celebrating the World Hypertension Day in the month of October due to COVID-19 pandemic. The Heart and Stroke Foundation South Africa plays a leading role in the fight against preventable heart diseases and stroke with the aim of having few people in South Africa suffer premature deaths and disability. The Heart and Stroke Foundation South Africa is established in 1980, which is a non-governmental, non-profit organization and which completely relies on the external funding to sustain the work it carries out. The Heart and Stroke Foundation South Africa aims to empower the people in South Africa to understand the severity of cardiovascular diseases our target is to reduce the burden of cardiovascular diseases in South Africa and eventually the burden to take the burden out of the healthcare system too. Our target is to encourage people to adopt a healthy lifestyle, make healthy choices easier, seek appropriate care and encourage prevention. Hypertension or elevated blood pressure is a serious medical condition. According to the WHO, 1.13 billion people in the world have hypertension. WHO is targeting to reduce the prevalence of hypertension by 25% by 2025 globally, but it looks like that COVID-19 is an unpredictable barrier to achieve this goal. The Heart and Stroke Foundation South Africa aligned itself with the World Hypertension League, which is celebrating the World Hypertension Day in the month of October 2020. Usually this day is celebrated in the month of May, but due to COVID-19, the World Hypertension League is celebrating the World Hypertension Day during the month of October 2020. This year, theme is measure your blood pressure, control it and live it longer. The key message via this theme is to encourage the people to understand the dangers of having high blood pressure, to emphasize why it is so important to measure your blood pressure and to stick to your medical treatment prescribed by the doctors. A lot of times the people don't take high blood pressure so seriously because they believe that they are drinking medications and they should, they should be okay. But they don't understand the severity when it gets worse, when you don't have a healthy lifestyle, when you don't have a proper dietary cessations, when you know that what you're eating which is very harmful to your body. So I think uh, it is very important to know why hypertension can be so dangerous. There is evidences by the WHO which says that the people who are having high blood pressure are suffering from the COVID-19 more. The people who have a chronic medical conditions like cardiovascular diseases, high blood pressure, strokes, asthma, they are the comorbidities uh, to have COVID-19 virus make it more worse and the patients are dying. So this year, our main aim to promote the importance of controlling the high blood pressure and why to adopt a healthy lifestyle. So today, I'm gonna talk about what is high blood pressure? How can you manage and balance your healthy lifestyle? why dietary modifications and healthy lifestyle modifications are so important. What is hypertension or high blood pressure? The blood pressure is the force exerted by circulating the blood against the wall of body's arteries, the major vessels in the body. Measured blood pressure can be written as a systolic pressure or a diastolic pressure. 
systolic pressure uh, represents the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart contracts beats and the diastolic pressure represents the pressure in the vessels when the heart relax between the beats. So our aim is to maintain the blood pressure between 120 and 80. So means the systolic pressure should be maintained by 120 mmHg and the diastolic pressure should be maintained by 80 mmHg. If the blood pressure goes beyond 140 over 90, then we can say it's a high blood pressure or hypertension. Now, why measuring this blood pressure is so important? Because blood pressure determines your health, your lifestyle choices your dietary choices. Hypertension is diagnosed if systolic pressure is more than 140 or diastolic is more than 90. It can be diagnosed in different positions, different sites, such as there is a different hypertension when you're lying down, when you're waking up. Usually, high blood pressure don't show any kind of sign and symptoms which we call like a stage one hypertension but there are chances with the time patients do feel light dizziness headaches bloody vision which can even lead to the stage two which is we call the hypertension crisis now you need to understand that Hypertension is related with the other cardiovascular diseases as well. Hypertension can be familiar or it can be associated with the other medical conditions. Just as um, cardiovascular conditions, stroke, heart conditions, it could be anything. The incidences of having high blood pressure increases with the age. Now, what are the reasons which is causing high blood pressure in our life? It could be a medical condition. It could be uh, another condition. The contributory risk factors, which is having unhealthy lifestyles, means having a lot of salt intake or sugar intake, having excessive alcohol, tobacco, smoking, being inactive, having less exercise, mental stress. These all are different contributions which can lead you to the high blood pressure. So it is very important to understand how we can adapt a healthy lifestyle and what choices we can make by ourselves to give ourselves a healthy lifestyle gift. So let's talk about the prevention and the control of high blood pressure and some dietary modification and life modification changes. What can you do to have a healthy lifestyle with a controlled blood pressure? Number one, if you are having a high blood pressure, please continue with your chronic medication, what doctor have prescribed for you. Do not change any medication without doctor's advice or having another doctor prescription. Because sometimes I came across with a lot of patients, their blood pressure medications finishes, so they start taking their mother or father or brother or friend's medication. But it's not necessary that all the patients are on the same medication. Why we uh, encourage the people to adopt a healthy lifestyle, especially if I talk about the dietary modification. I know that a lot of people are very... Uh, prone to have a very unhealthy kind of a food, having a high carbohydrate, fried food, freezy drinks, um, and high salt intake and high sugar intake. 
you have to cut down your salt intake to control your blood pressure you have to cut down your sugar intake to control your blood pressure we are living in such a beautiful world that there is a substitute of everything is almost present in the grocery stores please include a high fiber rich diet and a lot of green leafy vegetables especially it's very uh, risky for the people who are not having vegetarian diet because i see a lot of patients when they say doctor but i'm not vegetarian i can't eat that and their their routine li lifestyle is basically having a junk food pre-processed food packed food tinned food which contain preservatives uh, which contain a lot of salt and sugar intake which is extremely very poor for the body so number one the lifestyle modification and the dietary modification should be the first aim to having a healthy lifestyle, not only for fighting against the hypertension, but just to adopt a healthy lifestyle. You can have a lot of fruits and green leafy vegetables because I see a lot of patients I've seen that almost they're eating like burgers, chips, fried food and all almost every day. Despite of drinking the tablets, you're not going to control your blood pressure if you're not going to control your diet. Diet is the main key factor which can decide your blood pressure should be normal or abnormal. The second thing I would like to mention that please be active. The people who are working, maybe their work are demanding like sitting in one position for longer, constantly the strenuous work on the computer, on the gadgets and all. Um, it is also quite harmful for our body. So if you have that kind of a lifestyle where you're sitting or lying down for longer time, please get in, uh, please get active because exercise is a must. Aim to have at least three to five kg uh, reducing your weight loss per month. Because nowadays, if I see that a lot of products are coming in the market to build your stamina, to build your body, but I prefer to go to the natural root the more natural you are the more your body is natural and then you lose a healthy weight loss another thing please stop smoking please stop drinking in excessive because that can lead you to another level of dangers well um, i'm vegetarian i don't smoke i don't drink and i'm healthy and it's my choice because i believe if you have a healthy lifestyle then you can have a healthy thinking and then you can progress in your life. If you are having any anxiety or any medical conditions or any medical problems, please, please, please do not hide it. Seek attention, take advice and take treatment on the time because it is very, very, very important to have a good, healthy mind. Remember, our body work like a mind, body and soul. So it's like a balance. So you should have a balanced diet. You should have a balanced mind. You should have a balanced body to run. The other thing I would like to say, if you are not going to be very careful towards your high blood pressure, and if you take it this lightly, this can lead to a severity like heart attack, kidney problems, blindness, and you can even die. So this is my special request to everyone who's currently watching this webinar that let's join hand together to fight against this kind of preventable heart diseases and hypertension. Encourage people, empower people, please help each other, share your knowledge, give a right advice or a right guidelines to your, um, your family, your friends, because I believe we all have to come together to change the world, to, to keep the world disease free. One thing I would like to say, I think I will be the most happiest doctor when I will see that I'm keeping my patients any medication free. So thank you so much for listening to me. I hope that you all are getting some kind of advice and you will follow that in your life. So let's join hand together to celebrate this World Hypertension Day 2020 and empower each other to adopt a healthy lifestyle. Thank you.